this right here, it's, it's just a simple recognition that I am aware. And in the moment that you have this recognition, I am aware, it is awareness becoming aware that it is aware. Body can't become aware of awareness. Mind can't become aware of awareness. Their existence literally lies on this. It is sourced from this. Mind and world are just extensions of this within it. If that's sort of con like, you know, too confusing, just let that be. But know that body and mind cannot become aware. Awareness is prior to, right? You are aware of your thoughts. You are aware of um, everything that is perceived, the physical world, body. So what is it that is aware, right? So you are already that. You are already coming from that place. You are already that enlightenment or that, that happiness or that peace or that, you know, whatever you seek, you already are that. So that's what the teaching is really t teaching you. It's like, it's within you. But even that those words don't really give it justice, right? Because when you say within, then you start looking inside your body or whatever, or in your mind. See what is doing the looking. That is already you. And so this recognition deepens because right now it may, may may offer some sort of clarity or peace but the clearer that we see truly that i am that the more this loses its ability to pull you in and make you suffer now this instead of being so serious and such like a dull play where you have to fend for yourself and protect yourself constantly now this becomes more like a play where you know you're not afraid of the next step rather it's actually exciting the fact that let's just say you don't know if that client's going to leave next month or whatever that's not um a, a cause for fear anymore that's actually a cause for like okay then if that happens then then there's going to be something new that's going to arise that's fresh and i'm i'm going to be taken care of because i am this like i am the entire projection so how can i not be taken care of Taken care of by who? It is my, like, you know, it is deep. I am that. <laughs> so it's like giving up this control and becoming what you are. And through that, life just balance, like, you know, everything really falling into place little by little. So this is how we have to stabilize, like learning to live through that space. And it becomes quite effortless, right? Just through the practice. Does that make sense? I know I rambled. <laughs> No, no, it was, it was, it was great. Yeah, it, it, it does make sense. Yeah, a lot. And um, it, the moment you put words to it, it you, you start to lose it, right? But, but I'm not having trouble to uh, getting into that sensation, you know, the recognition of myself. So see, when you say so, when you say like when I when you put words to it, then I kind of lose it. But is that not seen? Where are you seeing even the words from? Where are you seeing even you losing it mm -hmm, from? Exactly. Yeah. You're you're already in that deeper place where that deeper seeing is taking place. So when we say, "Oh, today I was completely unaware. I was just all all around the place." What is seeing even the attention being? all over the place exactly are you not already seeing from that deeper place are you always not already aware of even the unawareness what the what the mind is labeling unawareness so as soon as this happens right when you recognize that i have fallen out of it have that recognition that but i am aware that i fell out of it and i was aware while this was even happening maybe i was in that moment identified as this but like there was still this deeper awareness. Only then I'm able to report that I was out of it or I was like, you know, mm. thinking or whatever. Right. So when you recognize that and you affirm that to yourself, not necessarily through words or whatever, just that simple recognition, that already starts to now um, sort of within helps you to start stabilizing as that deeper seeing. So now next time you fall, fall out of it, either you're going to recognize it more quick or quicker or it just won't happen it, it like the 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 gaps will start to get longer and longer where you're just operating from that so that's when i say is like the sense of self self sense of self stabilizes from this to this it just deepens shifts over more and more 
and now you know the world of Teresa and the thoughts of Teresa are seen for what they are and they're used as what they're supposed to be used as rather than arising in this moment and be believing yourself to be the thinker of thoughts the doer of action the sufferer of all your emotions the the constant pressures you put on yourself um of i have to do this i have to live up to this i have to be this way so someone likes me and approves of me all this stuff goes away right all that because all that only exists for this mm. all the limiting beliefs that we are we believe that we have all these suppressed emotions, all that who is that for right who it is not for the the self it is for the idea that we have of ourselves the past right what is that who is that for whose past is it Th this one does not have a past this one just is it doesn't have a future either right as i said earlier it just is right now you are not going anywhere so all that stuff starts to fall away and you start to you know, live life more authentically. And just a, a, a good way to measure that, how, like, you know, obviously it's hard to measure progress in this sort of journey. It's just, not one, how, how mentally still you really are throughout the day, right? How much, not necessarily mentally still, but how aware are you throughout the day? How much are you able to abide as that? That's a good way to kind of measure it. Um, or also just how inwardly peaceful and joyful you feel how content and um you know just at peace you feel and you know like circumstances losing their sort of hold on you to make you react in all sorts of ways that's a good way to sort of come to a recognition okay you know is uh, i'm becoming more aware you can say so the when you are aware that you are aware that recognition right there right is free of thought free of fear, free of anything that is perceived. Because your attention can either be relaxed into source, which is what we call being aware of being aware, right? Because awareness is not something that has objective qualities. It is not something you can be aware of. Like you can't, you can't point your attention to it, right? Attention actually has to, it's not, it's not, it's not a focusing. It's like a defocusing of attention attention relaxing into its source and that is the recognition i am aware so you can either be aware that you are aware or you can be focused on something right awareness contracting itself you can say into attention being focused on a thought or a fear or emotion or a projection so you could you can't do both in, in in the same way right at the same in the same moment 